Attorney Katera Dahl was a special federal prosecutor working for the Justice Department's Eastern Tennessee District and funded by the Johnson City Police Department, tasked with rooting out violent and gang crime there. That ended after Dahl complained that the city's police department botched her arrest of a possible serial rapist and murderer named Robert Vaux in court documents. Michaela Evans told the Tennessee Star and the Star News Network she met Robert Vaux one night, the night she fell out of a window out of his fifth story apartment. My friend standing outside of the garage, me peering in, I said, well, that looks fun because they had a swing hanging from the ceiling and this girl was going around in circles. Evans said she met Vo after she and a male friend went into the garage to check it out. I remember getting on a swing and he walked up behind me and put his hands on my back like this and pushed me into, did it three times, pushed me in a circle. And then I told him to stop that I felt like I was getting sick. Her next memory is waking up in a hospital and her mother telling her she survived a five-story fall, she said. I don't remember going up the elevator in the apartment or out the window. He says that he tried to catch me before he could even tell me that the window was open. Dahl opened an investigation into Evans' fall as a possible attempted homicide. When Johnson City Police executed a Dahl-initiated search warrant into Vo's apartment, part of her probe into Evans' fall from Vo's window, they found ammunition and a handwritten list with the names of 23 women under the word raped. Dahl secured an April 2021 sealed federal indictment on Felon Vo's illegal ammunition possession and an arrest warrant for Vo, which she claims in her lawsuit against the city's police department, was undermined by officers tipping off Vo and delaying his arrest until he fled town. Then Johnson City Police Chief Carl Turner cut funding for Dahl's position, effectively ending her mission. Dahl's lawsuit named Turner and the city's police department as defendants as she seeks damages for violation of her rights to due process and free speech. Reporting for the Tennessee Star and the Star News Network, Neil W. McCabe, Washington.